hey, a million years ago, I did a talk show, and that's what you're going to see. So enjoy. It's the short clips, but I think you'll dig it. Hi, Stephen King. Hi, Whoopi Goldberg. How are you? I'm great. I'm thrilled that you're here. I'm really, I'm all a shiver. Oh. You know, it's, it's, the, it's oh, maybe the wrong, it's kind of punish to say, but, you know, I've been a fan for a long, long time, you know? God love you, and may you live forever. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I saw Pet Cemetery. I read the book. <laughs> what is it about the books that keeps people coming back for more? I don't know. I think they must see a little bit of their lives in the stories. I write about the people that I know, uh, people who live in small towns and do small town things. And then you introduce that one element. Yes. It's like an, a, a dead key on a piano or something that's a little bit strange. And wait and see it take over. Because what really interests me isn't the supernatural per se, but the strange things that happen. Right. You know. Uh, when things go wrong and how people cope with that. Are you, have you been happy with the, the, with the way films of your books have been done? Because one of my favorites is Dead Zone. Yeah, I, I really one. loved what they did with Dead Zone. I really dug uh, Pet Cemetery and... Mm -hmm. and you uh, dug it, huh? I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> boom, boom. So, yeah. See, I set them up. It's a grave matter, that's right, yeah. <laughs> the movies are of uh, different <laughs> qualities as far as I'm concerned. Right. There are... Uh, there are real good ones. Dead Zone's a good one. Right. Um, I like a surprising number of them. Do you see the stories in full in your head? Do you wake up with them? How does it... Because they're so good. I mean, come on, let's... Carrie, uh, Dead Zone, Firestarter, uh, oh, Salem's Lot, The Shining, The Stand. See, she knows everything. I re I'm, I'm telling you, this I'm is my... I'm taking you home I'm, with me. Please, yeah, please. I love it. This is my thing. The Bachman books. Yeah. Thinner is a great story. Misery. Oh. Uh, Gerald's Room. Where does it come from? Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Isn't that a horrible answer? <laughs> Sometimes I turn ideas over in my mind before I go to sleep. But I was in bed by myself, and I think that's important because that's when those fears really get us. I sometimes think that we get married and we fall in love with other people so that we have somebody next to us in the night when the monsters come out from under yeah. the bed. So you the do scare, so scare yourself. Sometimes, sometimes. There's a scene in a book I wrote called The Shining where this little boy comes into a room where he's been told not to go. It's like the Bluebeard right. situation, and there's a dead woman in the tub. And uh, he turns away from her and closes his eyes and says, I didn't really see that, I didn't really see that. Um, and if I just stand here and concentrate on that, when I turn around, she'll be gone. And while he's doing that, her hands come around yes, his neck. Yes, yes. You know, and Ooh. that scared me. I get periodically where you get to the closet and you think, what if mm -hmm. somebody was in there? Yeah. How do I get out of the, you know, and you open it and there's no one in there. Or you sit in the middle of the bed. <laughs> no, they go, they go to the back. They stand in the back. Well, or they get under the bed. Under the bed right. And then they hold up where you can't see them. Because I look. Mm -hmm. I look. I, I do. can't look. I, I look. can't. I can, cannot look. See, my thing is, the thing that really scares me, it isn't like the guy going Bleh! in your right. face. It's like when you're in the dark and you're reaching for the light switch and you know it's there somewhere and you really want to get that light on so you can see the room is empty and you feel this hand close <sighs> over yours and put it up on the switch. You know, Dude, can you imagine that? What about these I things? Live, I can't not I think live about in a house things. by myself in yeah. the middle of nowhere. I have two cats and you know cats will freak you out mm -hmm. first. That's their job. Because they go like this, to. you know, they'll be sleeping and it's like... Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're like... Don't do this. Right. <laughs> go back to sleep. Go back right. to sleep. And then they go like this. <laughs> and you go, stop. So you get up and you run through the house as fast as you can. First you're naked and you're cold. And you know whoever's in there is going to be scared because they're going to see you naked. They're going to fall out. And you have a chance to get them. All right. <laughs> <laughs>